I cannot believe the amount of times I've tried to film this video. Welcome to Rosemary and Gingham, where you will get unfiltered, unedited, mostly, raw me. Today I want to talk about zero waste. I am trying to turn my house into a zero waste home. By that I mean reducing the amount of waste that comes in to my house and that I get rid of to the bare minimum. Um, completely zero is about impossible in our society, but we're going to try our hardest to get it down to as little as possible. I've seen multiple families on YouTube and throughout the web um, getting their landfill waste down to one mason jar for a four person family. And that's my goal. My goal eventually is one 64 ounce jar for me, my husband, and my almost two year old son. Totally doable. It's going to take a long time and a lot of changes. But my ultimate goal is within four years, I want to get down to this much trash going to the landfill in our house. I've taken a few notes in a notebook I bought probably two or three years ago before this whole zero waste thing happened on facts about plastic waste in the world and specifically in the United States. Um, so let, I'll just read over a couple of them. Five billion single-use plastic bags are used in a year worldwide. Five billion, guys. That's not a small number. Five billion of those silly shopping bags, plastic shop, shopping bags, which, by the way, I don't know if you know this, cannot be recycled. You cannot put them in your normal recycling bin that goes out with your trash every week or every other week or whatever your schedule is. Um, so they just get thrown in the landfill and then clog up our lives, basically. Ireland introduced a 15 cent tax um, on single use plastic bags fairly recently in the last year or two. And they reduced their usage in one year by 90%, which is amazing. Only one in five water bottles are actually recycled. U.S. uses 500 million straws a day. A day. 500 million straws a day are used in the U.S. alone. So let's talk about ways we can reduce our plastic and our waste in our homes. I'm mostly going to focus on kitchen items today because that's my favorite room of the house and it's also our biggest contributor to waste in our home. My number one go-to zero waste item is a canvas bag um, and this can help tremendously. A lot of stores will actually give you a small um, discount if you bring in your own bags or they'll give you like a little, you know, my store gives you a little token and you can donate that amount. It's like 10 cents, 15 cents, something like that. It's not a huge amount. It's, if you bring four bags at 15 cents, that's 60 cents a day for one person, times that by the 100 people that come in, times it by a week, and you're donating to great causes and keeping single-use plastic bags out of our landfills, out of the ocean. So this is my favorite one. It comes from Nooch, which is a um, vegan grocery store in Denver. So I keep this handy. I hang it on the door to my garage. That way, every time I leave the house, I can grab it if I'm going to be stopping at a store to do any sort of shopping. Um, and then I don't have to have a bag. My second most used, it may even be the first most used item in the kitchen, mason jars. We use mason jars for everything at our house. I use mason jars for drinking out of. I use them for leftovers. I use them for storage. I do a lot of zero waste shopping. So when I go to the store and I fill up my 
another item. Small canvas bags um, with bulk items. So like this has rice in it. I just went shopping today. I got rice, I got chickpeas, flour. I use these canvas bags. Sometimes I take my mason jars directly, um, just directly with me to the grocery store. Anyway, I'll take these and then fill up my jars with my bulk purchases and I keep them in a pantry. I know most bulk sections have those little plastic bags, but again, we don't need to use plastic bags. Single use bags that are terrible, they tear really easily, they pollute everything. Um, so I use these bulk bags here. In place of plastic Ziploc bags and plastic wrap, we use a couple of different things at our house. Uh, I use these Planet Wise Food Safe snack bags. Technically, this is the sandwich bag, and then they sell ones that are like half the size, or about that big for snacks. Um, we just have a bunch of these sizes we use for sandwiches, snacks. Um, they have plastic, like a food grade, um, BPA free plastic, I believe. It's BPA free, don't quote me on that. Um, as the lining, and then cute little patterns on the outside. Um, and then we also use these bees wraps. This is just a thin piece of fabric that has been coated in beeswax. Um, since our family went fully vegan, I have, um, I bought these before we went fully vegan and I haven't yet found a vegan substitute for these. Um, so I'm not sure yet what we're going to do when it's time to buy new ones. Um, these are fantastic. They um, work as, you know, you would use saran wrap. The warmth of your hand warms up the beeswax a little bit so it'll stick to itself um, fairly easily. It also sticks to the tops of mason jars. We have a couple different sizes. We have this medium size. Um, I have this super tiny size, which I usually use for like half an onion, just wrap it up in this, or half a potato, whatever I'm using. Um, it also fits really well on top of small bowls or mason jars and, and seals very well. Um, and then I have this really big size that I use for bread. They're one of our go-to products in the kitchen and outside the home a lot as well. Our reusable straws. Straws are a humongous polluter um, to our planet. They're terrible. They never break down. They they can't be recycled. They're made from BPA. Like so many things are wrong with the idea of plastic straws. I can't, I can't even tell you all of them. I've seen pictures of turtles who have gotten plastic straws like stuck in their nose. We typically take with us these, I'm dropping everything, these stainless steel straws. Um, we keep these and my husband keeps them in his backpack that he takes with him to work. I keep one for myself and my son in his diaper bag and we can use these when we're out and about. They're super sturdy, lots of different sizes. We only have one um, thickness at our house, but I think these come in multiple different thicknesses. So uh, we do like the stainless steel ones quite a bit, but even more so than the stainless steel, I love glass straws. We don't use these when we're going out and about for obvious reasons, because they're glass and I don't want them to break in my son's diaper bag. But for at home, we prefer these, mostly because the stainless steel is going to get hot or cold depending on what you're drinking. And they're thin and feel awkward a little bit when I'm drinking. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Um, but these are thicker and, you know, don't distribute temperatures as much. And we have a few sizes on this, so this is like standard size. We have, all of ours have bins in them. You can get them straight as well. 
if you'd like. I just thought the bins were kind of fun. Um, so I've got the standard size, standard thickness here. And then I have a longer one for our bigger mason jars. I have my smoothie straw, which is really thick for smoothies or milkshakes, vegan milkshakes, um, things like that. And then I got my son a shorter smoothie straw with a bend in it for his smoothies. So in addition to the straws that we keep in my son's diaper bag, these little bags um, of to-go wear. So instead of if I'm at a coffee shop and I order something that I need a fork and a knife for or a spoon, um, we can use these. So it's just a, a cute little bag. The straw does not come with it. I just stuck that in there so everything stays together. But it comes with this, um, this little bag made out of recycled something or other. I'm not really sure what, I can't remember. But um, all the utensils are bamboo. The adult size comes with bamboo chopsticks, um, and then a fork, a spoon, and a little knife. So these come in really handy. I also have a set for my son, which he uses it way more than my husband and I use ours. Um, same thing, except the child size doesn't come with chopsticks. It just comes with a fork, spoon, and knife. So, these are, these are so great. We love these things. I'll link to where I bought these. Most of the stuff I got on Amazon, um, but I'll link it in the description box below so that you can get yourself a set if you'd like. If I was a really cool YouTuber and had lots of followers and subscribers and sponsors, I'd have a code for you or something, but I'm not that cool yet, so no discount codes from me. Someday. So I also use these mesh bags for produce. I just bought potatoes today, so I just toss them all in this bag that basically weighs nothing. Um, it's washable and it kind of corrals my loose vegetables. I try buying them loose like this rather than the bag that they are like when they're pre-bagged. That way I don't have to worry about that plastic trash. Um, carrots, I also buy loose rather than bundled together because the rubber band is not um, recyclable and would have to just go straight in the trash. Unfortunately though, these produce stickers are the bane of my existence. I hate them. Like this will eventually have to go straight into my trash jar and will accumulate over the year and probably take up half of my jar. That's an exaggeration. A lot of space in my jar, my trash jar, unfortunately. But we buy mostly organic, so all of the organic produce at my grocery store has these stickers on it so that they know they're organic. Oh, I also have these tiny little mason jars that I use for spices. So I bought chili powder today. I just took this little jar in. I already know the tear. I keep track of my, the tears of all the sizes of mason jars that I have on my phone. I also keep track of the product lookup number on my phone in a list so that I don't have to write anything down when I go to the grocery store. I just type it in my phone and then pull it up when I'm checking out. Other things I use in the kitchen are my metal cold brew coffee filter. This actually just fits directly into a mason jar, a 32 ounce mason jar. Um, and you put the coffee, the ground coffee directly in here, fill it with water, put the lid on it, let it set for however long you prefer. I like really strong coffee so we go for like 36 to 40 hours. Um, and then you have cold brew coffee at home, no waste. I usually take a mason jar or a flip top uh, glass container to my coffee shop and fill up on coffee beans in just directly in that um, and then have them grind it there because I don't have a grinder yet. Um, for tea, I have a couple of different things. I have this adorable little tea robot that like hangs on your mug 
You can put loose leaf tea in. It's it's fun. Um, and then I have a fine mesh tea ball, or this this one that fits right in a in a mason jar. Not incredibly well. I wonder if it fits the wide mouth better. And I go for coffee in the mornings. Not every morning anymore. I've cut back a lot. I'm proud of myself, actually. Oh. But when I do go for coffee, I take my own cup with me. I prefer small amount of coffee and this really cute, amazing coffee mug traveler that I got at a coffee shop in Fort Collins. And I take reusable water bottles um, like this one or a mason jar with me for water throughout the day if I'm out and about. Another item I use a lot for my son is these little pouches. Um, I used to buy full transparency. I still buy them sometimes. But I used to, a lot more often, buy the little um, pouches of um, pureed food for him because he really likes smoothies and that kind of thing. Um, and it's easy for him to eat himself. But then I recently purchased these, which allow me to make my own purees, smoothies. I can fill it with applesauce, yogurt, oatmeal, whatever I want. Um, and this brand is actually really nice. So you fill the pouch from the bottom, which has a little zipper, and then you just take the lid off when he's ready to eat it. Handy dandy. Um, it also, this particular design has no corners. It's all rounded, which is really nice for cleaning. I usually just open both ends and fill it with hot water. Um, rinse it out really well, maybe a tiny bit of soap. These are actually also dishwasher safe. Um, so sometimes I'll toss them in the dishwasher as well. But they are, says here, dishwasher and freezer safe, PVC, phytholate, however you say that, and BPA free. So these are handy. I take this, what looks like an alcohol flask, to the grocery store for maple syrup. You can get maple syrup, um, liquid aminos, which we use a lot, olive oil, um, agave. Those are like the liquids that we can get at my grocery store. Um, a lot of grocery stores are gonna have liquids that you can get in bulk as well. Not a lot. A lot of the natural gro grocery stores will have those. Um, my grocery store also does fresh ground peanut butter, which is really handy and I just take Again, a mason jar and fill it up with fresh peanut butter. Just received today also a these little soap pumps for the tops of mason jars. Like I said, I just got it today so I haven't trimmed down the tube. But it just goes directly on top of a mason jar like so. And then you can put, you can put hand soap in these, which some stores will have refillable soaps. Um, there's a bulk store northwest of me by about 20 minutes that has hand soaps, um, dishwashing soap, things like that that I can get in bulk and just take my mason jar and fill it up. Ready to go. I also make my own dishwashing detergent from sea salt, baking soda, and citric acid that I purchase most of those products in bulk. Um, I think citric acid I get in like a larger container from Amazon. I haven't found it in bulk yet, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled for that. And then I just make a big batch of it and I have a little glass container with a lid and a scoop underneath my sink and I use that. So I also purchase kombucha and or beer for my husband in bulk using a um, growler like this. I, also, I have a smaller growler as well, but usually we use this bigger one that I got um, when backing a zero waste store that's in East Denver. Um, so this thing's super handy. It's double walled and amazing. I 
sometimes, not often because I don't really drink it that often, but when I do go to Zero Market in East Denver, there's also a wine bar there that has um, their own wine on tap and that you can purchase in bulk. They can You can purchase a small growler from them or sometimes I'll use this and fill it with one of the like six or seven different wines that they have on tap. So it's really nice because I can get it zero waste as well. Another way we try to be zero waste when it comes to food is this handy tiffin box that I just purchased recently. I can fill this with all kinds of items for a picnic if I want to take Link to, you know, out somewhere for a picnic for the day to the park or something. It's really nice. It's got three containers. They are all double walled. They keep food warm for quite a while. I wouldn't say it stays crazy hot, but it stays pretty warm. Um, I can also put this in my bag if I'm going out and use it for leftovers rather than getting to-go boxes when I'm at a restaurant, um, which I really like. We recently took this filled with, two of the containers were filled with vegan chili and the top one was filled with all the fixings for vegan chili, so like cashew sour cream and chives and uh, cilantro, nooch, and we took it with us when we went out to eat to a like, steakhouse type thing with my sister and her family because the only option we had to eat while we were there at that restaurant was baked potatoes or baked sweet potatoes, so we just snuck in some vegan chili so that we could actually have a full meal instead of just a plain potato. Um, I think that's mostly it. Let me know what kind of ideas you have and I'll see if I can do a video on it. Thanks so much for watching. <coughs> I cannot believe the amount of times I've tried to film this video. I'm just gonna cut that part out. Um, plastic. Plastic. Let's try that again. I'm dropping everything. Also dishwasher. Di that's my dog's. Smells like nooch in here. Maybe I'm just weird. Cut.